Hey everybody, this is David at Knuckles Farms. Uh, today's video is gonna be a little bit different. Um, and I wished I would have started this about five days ago, but um, we, uh, we've been, one thing we've been talking about here is coming up with a logo uh, for, for Knuckles Farms. Um, and, uh, and so, you know, we've been searching on the internet and um, checking out some websites of these free free logo designs and you know they were all kind of generic so uh we knew we wanted a little bit more we just couldn't figure out exactly what we wanted um and uh and we came across this this um this website um and i'm sure they won't mind me plugging them uh but it's 99designs.com and um, I had heard about it before, but I'd forgotten it actually. Um, a guy I know used it. And, um, um, and uh, so anyway, so this, is this has been uh, such a cool process. Um, we are sitting here at the table right now, uh, going through a bunch of logos, but let me kind of give you a rundown of, what, of, of how, they, how they work. So, um, so we uh we gave them a description of our uh, of what knuckles farms is and and we told them we're a we're a cow calf operation in in tennessee and um just kind of some real general things uh about about us and then we uh we gave them some um some some logos of some other companies that we like and they had a bunch of questions um you know, I think they gave us a bunch of sample logos and said, pick, pick all these logos that, that you like. And so we, we just check marked all these different logos. Um, and so what they were learning about, so that they were learning what our style is. And, um, and, and, uh, so, so once all that was figured out, they, they submitted, they submitted it to the designers of their company and it became a contest. And so um, all their graphic designers uh, were given our information and, um, and they had how many days? Four days? Five, Five days um, uh, until the first round was over. Um, and so, you know, it started off slow. We knew these guys had to design, come up with the designs and think up some things. And so uh, we would get notified um, just all throughout the day, uh, we have a new design. We have a new logo to look at. And these, uh, these graphic designers would submit them. And, uh, and then, you know, some of them would email us and explain to us how they came up with it. And, uh, and it was almost like, can I say Christmas day? Every day was like Christmas day. It was like, what are we going to get today? What are these new uh, logos. Who's who, what new graphic designer is gonna gonna give us something? It was amazing all of the different designs that we got, um, and then so then we, we we could rate them and we could tell them ah we we like this we don't like that and they would they would resubmit and so they were it, it became the closer to the deadline it came they just started rapid fire rapid fire. How many how many logos do we? Uh, we've had ninety different designs. Nine, 90 different designs um, have come into our inbox from these, uh, from what, a dozen, 12, 15 different designers. Uh, so they would, they would give all these different options. And, uh, and then, so then we, so then, okay, then we, then we had to narrow it down, right? Um, and uh, so I had to do it the old fashioned way. I, we, we plugged up our printer and uh and started printing these things out the ones we really liked and um so uh let me let me kind of show you what what we've done here all right so um this is kind of crazy looking i know but amy has been here at the house in in quarantine mode for what four weeks now four weeks at least, at least four weeks because of the virus um, and so she has brought her whole office here to our dining room table. And, uh, um, 
So yeah, this is not a normal setup. But anyway, she's looking through. We're we're in phase two. We uh, what I didn't say is is that we we narrowed um, all those designers. We narrowed it down to, or we had to, uh, for phase one to be over. We had to narrow it down to six designers, and um, and uh, so they, uh, uh, you know, we we just um, we we marked the six. The other guys are weeded out. And, and then we gave them even more instructions about what we, what we want to see. And so now we're starting to get all uh, um, we're further revisions on these logos from these guys. Um, and uh, so it's been real cool. So anyway, so we're staring at all these different logos on the screens. I don't know if you can see all these real good, but, but it's not really what you see, but how many you see here, that is just crazy. So that this is just uh, the six designers that we have decided on. So we weeded out all the rest and even some of their logos, we, we deleted uh, the ones that we didn't like as much because they would give multiple, multiple logos. And so this was an example of, of how they would present it to us. Uh, man, he, you know, he went ahead and put it on a hat. Doesn't that look cool? Um, and so, so yeah, so, so man, we're going sorting through these and, you know, we gave them a picture of the old barn that's by here behind the house to kind of go by. And so some of the guys are using, using barns. Uh, they're all using cows on the logo. And, um, uh, something that I didn't think about was, um, uh, was, uh, they were all putting established 2020. Um, well, I, you know, Knuckles Farm has been around for a lot longer than that. So I, last night, me and, and uh, my, my boys started digging through our old ge genealogy records, and we found um, a property deed um, that was my great-great-grandfather uh, bought property here in Toon, Tennessee, in 1847 so we are claiming 1847 as our you okay girl you all right <laughs> and a hairball <laughs> well come on and say hi to everybody say hi to everybody nobody i don't guess everybody's seen you before this is layla layla's our doberman she's a year and three or four months now She's a sweet girl, aren't you? Huh? Are you a sweet girl? <laughs> so anyway, uh, so 1847, um, we we uh, we listed it out, and and my my sons are the sixth generation for Knuckles Farm. So anyway, that was that was so fun. We did that last night. We spread out all of our genealogy records all over the the table, and uh, and I couldn't believe I found that, but it was 1847. So anyway, all right, so how do we, so right now we're in the middle of phase two of this process. Uh, logos are still coming in. We're submitting ideas and things that we want to see tweaked and changed. And um, um, two days and three hours. So there you go. We got two days and three hours until this second um, phase or stage of this process, this competition. Um is uh is over and at that point i think we declare a winner so there, so how are we figuring out which ones we like out of all these well i had amy cut and paste and print all this stuff out and i want to see you this is i'm gonna let you in on on my mind here here is my mind we let me see if i can so there you have it uh there's the yellow <laughs> the yellow note uh, uh, sticky notes is, uh, is one through six. That's our six designers. So we got one, two, three, four, five, and six. That's kind of our favorites right now. And, uh, and it just so happens you see number one has also submitted the most different designs. So they're putting a lot of effort into it. And, uh, you know, the guys at the bottom are, you know, they hadn't submitted that many designs and they haven't been very creative. Uh, but man, check these, check these logos out. 
Um, and it was kind of, this is a progression yeah. of, of how it started. Um, so you can see the Knuckles Farm established 2020. So, you know, it was real, real generic. And, uh, and then they added the field and the initials were a little different. Um, trying to do this without shaking too much. Uh, and, uh, and then they started doing different borders. And then we got into the, uh, I told them I wanted Toon, Tennessee included in on it. And then look at there. Can you see that? 1847. How awesome. And we're loving this one. Let, let us know what you guys think in the comments. Cause this thing has got, what did we say? Two days? Yes. Two days left. Um, and I guess we're going to break protocol and probably go ahead and post this here pretty soon. So here's our second designer, one of their first ones. And, and then now here's one of the last ones. Look at that. Awesome. All right. Number three, kind of started off. We're not, we're not in the mountains. People automatically assume Tennessee's in the Smokies. And so we had to tell him not to do the mountains. And so he came up with, with this. This is, this is kind of the one we're leaning to, towards on, on this guy. All right, so then number four, very vintage, but then they kind of went in a different direction. Not sure what this is, just a little button, but kind of cool. I guess you can put that like on a cap and then that goes on a shirt maybe, I don't know. Um, and then, so it's kind of gone to, to that. And then number five, that one's different, but these guys, they haven't really, I don't know. They just haven't really put, um, put a lot into it, but the, the Tennessee really stands out and the stars, that's kind of cool. And then number six. Very cool. And then, I hope this isn't making everybody dizzy. I'm kind of zipping around here. So I tell you what, how about we do an online video poll? Y'all can leave comments below. Um, so here's number one. Here's number one. I can't decide which one I'm leaning on. This border or the circle border for number one. Okay, so there's number one. Here's number two. So here's the color. That's the color logo, and then he just, it's the same thing uh, with just different colors, uh, color schemes. But like there's the full color logo. That's number two. And here's number three. I believe this is the one I'm leaning towards on number three, but I want to hear your guys, your, uh, you guys opinion, y'all's opinion. I want to hear y'all's opinion on it. There's number four. These are his latest ones. Number four. So you got kind of a full detail cow and a black cow, um, and with the border and then that's borderless, I guess you could say. Number five is right here. Um, really different from all the rest. The last two are really different from all the rest. So that's number five. And then number six is that one. So we've kind of listed them in the order that we like them. Um, so one more time, let's do kind of a let's pull back. There's one and two. There's three and four and then there's there's five and six those are the most recent ones so yeah isn't this crazy oh and i didn't so check this out here's so here are all the ones that we printed there we go sorry these are ones that we printed and and didn't didn't go with 
Um, you know, we narrowed them down, but these are ones that we liked at one point, but just, uh, look at that, nope. <laughs> nope. Kind of neat, but man, they got a whole bunch stuck together there. This guy hand drew that bull. Uh, so look at all the different, all the different options here. We really like this one, but this guy just wouldn't give us much, uh, many options. He kind of just stuck with those two where other people gave us a whole bunch of options and really tried. Um, but yeah, so those are just the ones we liked and we printed. So we've been trying to narrow this down, uh, and this is tough. I mean, I, I don't think we can go wrong with any of these, um, but, uh, but man, this has been such a fun process um, to, to uh, you know, I, I'll, I'll text Amy all throughout the day, hey, have we gotten any, any new logos, any new logos, any updates? Um, so uh, this was a paid thing. We had to pay money for this. Uh, this was not a free free website. Um, man, I'm getting close on it. Sorry, guys. Um, but just the, the, the process has been so much fun. I mean, we've stayed up. How late at night have we stayed up to? Oh wow! To look at these and make decisions and. Ten, eleven o'clock. Yeah, I mean, so, uh, but it's been it's been so much fun. It's been awesome, and and so I can't wait to hear you guys' uh, opinions on this. And um, so just stay tuned. Uh, like I said, we got a couple of days left before we make our final decision. There are still going to be tons of. Um, rough drafts of, of logo ideas still coming in between now and then. So stay tuned, just uh, stay glued to your YouTube channel, hit subscribe, hit that bell so you'll get notified. And uh, we're gonna be doing some follow-up videos on this. Um, so again, thanks for watching this and uh, stay tuned to see what we decide on. Thanks guys.